Now let's look at a student loan. A student graduates from college with a loan of $20,000. The interest rate is 6.8% and the loan term is 10 years. Part A, find the monthly payments rounded to the nearest dollar and the total interest for the loan. To find the payment, we're going to use the formula payment equals P times R over N divided by 1 minus 1 plus R over N raised to the negative N times T power. For this problem, the P is going to be 20,000. Our value of R is going to be the 6.8% written as a decimal. Divide by monthly payments, meaning we're going to be dividing by 12. And then in the denominator, we'll have 1 minus 1 plus 0 0.068 divided by 12 raised to the negative 12 times 10 as we're going to be having this loan for 10 years. We'll use a calculator in order to evaluate this and we come up with an amount rounded to the nearest dollar which is approximately $230. Now to find the total interest we're going to take our total payments and we're going to subtract from that the amount of the loan. So the total interest is going to equal the total payments which would be $230 a month. We're going to have that times 12 months times 10 years so that's going to be times 120 payments and then we're going to subtract from that the amount of the loan which is $20,000 and we come up with that value being $7,600 for the total interest. Now let's take that information from the loan and we're going to prepare a loan amortization schedule. Prepare a loan amortization schedule for the first two months of the student loan. Round entries to the nearest cent. We're going to figure out our first two payments. We're going to determine our interest payment, our principal payment, and the balance of the loan. So let's begin with payment number one. In payment number one, to find the interest, we're going to use interest equals principal times rate times time. Our interest is going to be on a principal of $20,000. We're going to have our interest rate at 6.8%, so written as a decimal, 0 .068. And we're going to multiply that times 1 12th, since it's going to be paid monthly, and that's 1 12th of a year. We're going to determine that that is going to be equal to $113.33. So we're going to take that amount and put it back into our table for the interest payment. Next, we want to determine the principal payment. To find the principal payment, we're going to take our monthly payment and we're going to subtract from it the interest. So in the problem, let's just remember that we're going to end up paying $230 per month. That was something we found in a previous problem. And we're going to subtract from that the interest of $113.33 to give us a difference of $116.67. Let's take that amount and put it in the table. Now, what will be the balance of the loan? We're going to take the amount of the principal and subtract that from the total amount. So we'll have $20,000 minus $116.67 leaving us with a balance of $19,883.33. That's going to go in the third column for the balance of the loan. Now, to figure out what happens in payment two, we're going to simply do the same process, but with the different balance. So let's go again to the finding the interest payment by using the formula I equals P times R times T. This time, the P is going to be our value of $19,883.33. We're going to multiply that times the 6.8% and multiply that times 1 12th. Calculating that gives us a value for the interest of $112.67. Next, we'll figure out the principal payment. 
We'll take that interest and subtract it from the amount we're paying per month. So that's going to be $230 minus $112.67, giving us a difference of $117.33. And finally, to determine the balance of the loan, we're going to take the balance from the month before, subtract off the principal, and get that value. So we're going to take $19,883.33, subtract from it the principal of $117.33 to come up with our balance of $19,766, which will go into our last column.